In this video, we're going to be looking at Adalo versus Softer. So what is Adalo? Adalo is a platform where you can create apps very quickly, and it's pretty comprehensive. The second is Softer, and you can create powerful websites and web apps very quickly using Airtable within about 10 minutes. So what's the differences? Why would I use one or the other? For Adalo, I find that having the templates and getting started very quickly and having something that's powerful that scales, Adalo is where it's at. Now the learning curve to understand the databases and the relationships, that, that takes a little bit of time, but I find that the way that they structure their databases and explain it to people, it's top notch. Their, their tutorials are great. So Adalo, there's a lot to be said with this and I'll go in a little bit more detail in a second. Now, say for instance for softer, Softer I like because you can create websites really quickly and they're really fast and lean, very fast loading sites. But also with Softer very easily, you can create different types of MVP or different types of app, web apps to test your ideas, such as job boards, marketplaces, uh, voting sites like Product Hunt, food delivery, mark, there's just, it goes on and on. But what I like about this is it's really easy to use. And so I think it really goes back to what you're trying to use this for. Softer, I would use for a website. And then if I wanna do other development or testing out different web apps, I, ideas that I have, to get to an MVP level, scale it to a certain point, and then go to a more advanced platform later on. But Softer keeps getting better and better, and I'm interested in what they're trying to do. Right, for example, Right now, you can use it for a website. So let me just show you like 100 days of no code run by Max, great group, awesome to get started and really gives you a lot of accountability for no code. So 100 days of no code.com, this is built on software. And I remember talking to the founder, Max, and he really hated like uh, using WordPress and other things. It was just a lot to get started. He was talking about how easy it was to to use this, just using blocks and all those things. So this is great. Also, he's creating a course, so logins and all these things. So this is something that he really likes. So I, I think it's a really good use case if you're thinking about using it as a website and then going further, it's a great place to start. Also too, I noticed like a lot of people ask about creating custom job boards and things like that, especially in the no code community or ones that are looking to, you know, just test out their ideas. I think this is really good. It's really clean and really fast. And Softer also announced uh, coming up in 2021, they're going to be looking at having uh, more advancement with their database. So you can have logins of users and all those things. That's what excites me because a lot of times different platforms, even like Webflow at this time, the login process, you need to have other um, third party software such as member stack and other things to grant uh, you know users different parts of the site so if it's anything easier that's a big thing missing in no code so that's something to keep in mind right now it, again it's going to be coming out in early 2021 but th i think that's going to be a really good that's going to be a game changer and i'm excited to see the onboarding process how they create uh, you know that workflow to start and if it's anything like creating a website i'm i'm really excited about that now again, going back to Adalo, let's go for like comparison. Adalo already has their database and allows you to create, you know, the workflow for users and everything like that. So they're advanced on that and it's already bro built into their platform. So unlike software, which is using the integration with Airtable in order to perform that with the user information, Adalo, that's all in right there. But I think there's two different use cases as well. If we're looking at Adalo, Again, I, I keep going back to these templates, but because that's, I, I think of so many different ideas, people have something similar to these nine or 12 different types of apps. They've already built a lot for you, already built out a lot of different ideas. So for me to go in, it's easy for me to get started. And I think this allows me to, to really have a really good grasp or have a really good business. And I wouldn't need to upgrade. Like I would need to have very specific reasons why I would need to get off of Adalo, even as my brand scaled. And in the future, if people want to see it, we'll start showcasing different Adalo apps and what people have done with it. But it's just amazing from meditation apps to coaching apps. And now they're going to be doing other things with the API component. Uh, it's going to be very interesting, especially with like Google Maps and different API components. 
and also doing one-click buys with using an iPhone, I think that's going to be really interesting. Now, again, if someone's looking for more advanced e-commerce things and they're looking for an app builder, I still think Good Barber is a great suggestion and a great thing, and I have videos about that, or if you want to know more, I can tell you. But a dollar I find it's a really good middle ground for a lot of different ideas to test things out and it's powerful to scale. Softer, I feel like it's great to get started and if you really you really get overwhelmed with a lot of different things, Softer basically allows you to have a great onboarding experience and they just do it for you. You're already looking what needs to happen, it happens, there we go. And especially if you're still looking for a website and you know, testing your idea, seeing if the market wants your ideas, it, 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 it's the best of both worlds. So that's my comparison of Adalo and Softer. If you have any other questions about the two platforms, the features, what it can do, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next video.